What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a pretty cool team. We got ourselves a weakness policy Zekron team that also features Life Orb Groudon alongside with four support Pokemon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, scroll down a little bit. See that big red subscribe button? Nice little rectangle that says subscribe on it. Click that button for me. Click that button for me and join the community. Thank you to everybody who's a subscriber and supports me as a content creator. But like I said today, we're rocking out with a team with four support Pokemon. Amoongus, Wimscott, Confi, and Grimstone. So we're going to be heavily relying on our Zekrom and Groudon to get the work done and grab ourselves a win. So this should be a fun video, fun team to use on the rank ladder. But let's get started here. With today's team preview starting off in that top left corner, we have Zekrom over here. Zekrom is a really cool Pokemon. Dragon Electro type, and it does not see a lot of the light when i say a lot of the light i mean nobody really uses it in rank battles no one really uses it because there's other pokemon that are just so so much better than them but it's definitely gonna be fun for us to use and showcase in a video we got terrible as its ability rocking out with the weakest policy as item and then we got rising voltage for stab draco meteor for stab earth power for coverage and last but not least we're rocking protect right next to him is going to be our first of four support mons that is going to be amoongus with regenerator and a yachi berry as item it's rocking palm puff to hit pokemon and to heal up ally pokemon it has support to put pokemon to sleep alongside rage power to protect ally pokemon and protect to protect itself middle left is going to be groudon our second pokemon that is here to do big damage it's got the life orb it's got the drought as its ability and then it's rocking out with eruption earth power thunderbolt and protect this pokemon is going to be very very good in dynamax and that's why its moveset is made out to be what it is it doesn't have precise blades has earth power instead it's because like this pokemon is made for dynamax so we're gonna be dynamax in this pokemon a lot and he's gonna be getting a lot of kills for the wins second support mod on team is going to be whimscott over here you guys know whimscott is just great for tailwind control and just getting after the battle it has helping hand energy ball moonblast and tailwind for its moveset rocking out with prankster ability alongside with the expert bell as its item Bottom left hand corner is going to be Grimstone, our third support mod. It has Sucker Punch for first time priority, Fake Tears to help uh, drop special attack, kind of can roll in with the Zekrom, and it can even roll in with the Groudon. Just drop that special or special defense, I meant to say, and just have our Pokemon be able to one tap him. Then it has Trick to actually pass its Iron Ball to the opponent, which is its item, and then Scary Face to lower speed. Obviously, Prank has its ability, and like I just said, Iron Ball is the item to pair well with the Trick move. Final Pokemon on team. We got the one and only Confi. Confi is going to be a perfect pair to Zekrom. It can proc weakness policy. It can heal him up. It can set Trick Room. It can cancel out Trick Room. And it can also has Helping Hand to make our ally Pokemon do more damage. It has the Triage ability. And last but not least, it's rocking the Focus Dash. Guys, there's a the team. Like I said, four support mods, two heavy hitters. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this squad. Battle number one coming at you guys, and who would have guessed it? A Kyogre team. He's also rocking out with Shadow Rider Calyrex, or not Shadow Rider Calyrex, what am I saying, Jeans? Ice Rider Calyrex, Amoongus, Seismitoad with that Swift Swim, Mimikyu to set up Trick Room, and then last but not least, he's rocking out with Incineroar. I feel like Zekrom and Confi is a perfect combo for this, because we can counter up on Trick Room, plus we can get rocking out with a weakest policy and get rolling from there. Groudon's an absolute must, I was about to say in the beginning, that Groudon and Zekrom are going to have to come in every single battle, because these are the only Pokemon that can really do that. So I'm going to be bringing them in every single battle. And it makes sense. There are two strongest mons. They should be on every single squad. But we got the Comfy. We got the Zekrom. We're going to roll out with the Groudon. And then last but not least, who's looking good here? Whimsicott's kind of looking good just for that Energy Ball. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Energy Ball could do some work. But Grimstarl's not bad either for that first turn priority with Sucker Punch. But how should we do this? How should we do this? We do have to spore with him. In case he wants to rock Trick Room, Amoongus could be good. In case he does end up getting off that Trick Room, Amoongus could be great. I'm digging it. I'm thinking the Moongus, man. I'm liking it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. And let's look to grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But it's going to be tough, dude. Like, I saw this team. I was just like, wow, this looks cool. And then I started looking at the moves. I was just like, support mines. Wow. That's nutty. That is nutty. But, yo, we, we're going to get after it. Your boy, you know your boy Jeans is going to prevail for you guys. And at least grab you guys at least one win. We're hoping one win. I, I'm aiming low with this team. But maybe we'll get two. Maybe we'll get two. We'll see. He's going to send out... Incineroar and Mimikyu. Okay, so fake outs can roll out here. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, bum, 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 bum. I could trick room next turn. I could trick room next turn. Granny Kiss could come out, come out first. This could be nice. Intimidates can come out here. I think we're thriving here. I think we're totally fine. I'm just going into an Earth Power. We're not Earth Power. At Max Quake. I could just go straight into an Earth Power, but I said we go Max Quake. Right into you. And Draina Kiss should come out before the fake out. So if he wants to pop Trick Room, he can pop Trick Room. Or fake me out. I kind of want that to happen. 
I kind of want that to happen. So we're going to Dynamax Necron right off the rip. Get this weakness policy rolling. And the only thing I'm kind of scared of is going to be that uh, Calyrex coming out here after the fact he gets off Trick Room. But at that point, I kind of just want to max guard and then counter his Trick Room and go from there. But we'll see. We shall see. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough news for us. Any case, can come through here before the fake out. Bop. And we're going to get rolling. Let's get rolling. We get my Zekrom out here. Weakest policy is propped. He's probably going for the fake out, right? Fake out coming through here. He was. He was. So great play by us to actually get our first turn priority off before him. Then we're going to drop a lovely little Max Quake. Get a nice little special defense boost and allow him just to set up a turn. So there's that. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Okay, so easy first turn dump. He's going to bring out the Catherine. We, we already know that's coming. We already know that's coming. So from here, I could either... I could either... Al I could ally switch. Or I could Max Guard. What do I want to do? The only problem here would be is if he doesn't Dynamax. And he goes straight for like a, a Glacial Lance. So that's why I kind of just want to guard and try to get off this trick. That's definitely going to be my play. Because if he takes out... Yeah, that's Calyx. If he does end up taking out my Confi here. And we don't counter this trick room. If he ends up doing that. We could definitely just get out of Moogus and put him to sleep. I'm kind of with that. So I'm going to guard. Like I said, I'm going to try to pop trick room here. I'm gonna try to I'm just gonna try to counter up the on the stricken. So I'm hoping he's gonna dynamax here. I really do. I really do. Let's see, let's see the plays. Let's see the plays. Let's see the plays. He's dynamaxing beautiful. So he's dynamaxing. That that leads me to think he's going for a straight hailstorm right into my uh my Zekrom here, so that dude, that could be a huge play. This could be a huge play for us. If we could just block that shot. Because that was my only worry, was him not Dynamaxing, going into a Glacial Lance, and just trying to get everyone from the way. So if we could block the shot and counter Trick Room, I think we could be sitting super, super good. But we'll see what happens here. We guard. There's the big old block. You can set up the block. Shadow Sneak's going to come through here. And he's going to proc with his policy. So, so he's proccing policy. That thing is definitely scaring me. And we got to hope he goes into uh, Zekrom here, right? Go in the Zekrom. Go in the Zekrom. Hailstorm right in the Zekrom. So we make the great read here. We make the great read here. And we are just going to go for a Trick Room. And now I'm going to make another read on top of this. I'm going to read him going for a Max Guard. And I'm going to Drain and Kiss and actually take out the Mimikyu here. That's going to be my play all day. That's going to be my play all day. We're going to drop a Max Lightning. Actually, do we even drop a Max Lightning? I think we just go for a Quake. For sport purposes, right? Can't you not put him to sleep with a... Uh, that terrain i'm not too sure but this should be able to take him out the quake into the drain kiss to take off this guys so i'm gonna predict the trick or i'm gonna predict the max guard and him going into a trick room here. that's my play call all that he does not son of a biscuit but we have to get rid of this thing this this could be huge for us just taking out mimikyu so i'm cool i'm cool if he takes out my uh i'm cool if he takes out my zekrom if we can just get rid of this trick room because i can't deal with it max quake's gonna fly through here And that's gonna take him out, right? Yeah, more policy. So, so that's a great call by me. That's a great call by me. So we get rid of that. We get a special defense boost, and this thing is just gonna dump on Zekrom, right? With hailstorm, with the lovely little hailstorm. Yeah, there goes there goes hailstorm. We could have did damage him, but then he would have got off Trick Room. Which we maybe should have. We should have allowed probably. We maybe should have allowed. But I don't think my Zekrom could have taken out that uh that Calyrex, even with weakness policy boost. Even with the weakness policy, because I just didn't see it being. Let me get rid of the Mimikyu. He has one more turn left of Dynamax, but the best thing is he has no trick. So from here, I could bring out. Uh, I could put him to sleep. I could put him to sleep. That might have to be my player. Going here, I could either. I could ally switch to protect that thing. We do have a Yachi Berry though. Plus three, just not looking good for us. Just not looking good for us. We're gonna have to oh we're gonna change the weather, but we can change it right back. And we have a and we have an electric cover here. I'm gonna try to put as many of them as I can. To sleep, right? But the Calyx has to go first. We know the Calyx has to go. drop out first. Wow, this one's gonna be super super close. Cool. Where do we put the Kyogre's sleep? Who do we put the sleep? I feel like we have to put you to sleep. So we're gonna put you to sleep and we're just going to we don't have allies. Oh, we do not have ally switch. 
that just ruined everything for me. That just ruined everything. That, that ruined a lot. For me. That just ruined a lot for me. Why do I think we have Ally Switch? Ouch. That's tough news. We'll deal with some damage over on this Kyogre. Ow, dude. I thought we had Ally Switch. I would I would have brought out Groudon on this turn. I would have brought out Groudon. Ouch, dude. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What's he going for? Hailstorm. He goes for the Water Spout. Eat this up, Confi. Eat this up, Confi. Confi's able to eat. Okay, so. He's able to eat. Gets a crit. He's going for it. He's got to go for the Hailstorm, right? Just for the Quake. Go into Confi, please. That's got to be going into Moogus, right? Goes for the Quake into Moogus. Moogus, can you eat? No. no shot. So he gets a special defense boost. Ooh, that's tough. That's real tough. Real tough. Okay, so we have Groudon left. He has no more Dynamax. We have speed against, I think, maybe both of these guys. But, dude, that Calyrex is just scaring me. Definitely scaring me. We might have to Helping Hand this turn. Who do we take out here? I think we go into a Helping Hand Eruption, maybe, right? Do we think Groudon... I, I don't know if Groudon's going to be able to outspeed the Kyogre. This is tough news. This is real tough news for us. <laughs> he has, he's plus one on Special Defense. Um... Rest power might have to be our player just take out that thing. And then maybe just start floral healing. This could be tough. This could be real tough. I mean, Confi should be able to eat. He should be able to eat. Just erupt. I kind of want to erupt here. We are going to erupt. We're going to go into helping hand. We ground on outspeed. I know we outspeed Kyogre, but maybe not the Kyogre. Outspeed the Kyogre, please. He does not. Oh, he protects. Okay, smart play. Smart play. We outspeed too. We do outspeed, so I can floral heal next turn. Gotta go from there. How much damage are we really gonna do on this? Thing? How much damage are we really gonna do on this Kyogre? Not bad. Hopefully he's going for water spouts. Get a crit. Okay, that's huge. That's huge news. We're gonna take some life for damage, and what's he going for? Water spout. Just for origin. The origin pulse connects. Can we soak? We should be able to soak, right? Boy soak. Okay, all day. Hmm. We gotta definitely floral heal him. And I know we outspeed. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna floral heal him. We're just gonna do this. We gotta hope we can take out the Calyrex. Oh, what a battle! What a battle! <laughs> we gotta hope we can actually just take out the Calyrex. How much HP are we gonna get back? That's a good chunk. That's a huge chunk. And we go first. Please take out. If this takes out Calyrex, we have a huge chance of winning this battle. Not even close. Not even close. We're dead. We lost. 100%. 100% we lost. Origin Pulse comes out here. Dodge it. Groudon. Who dodge it? Who dodge it? Confi dodge it. Okay, so Confi dodge that. We need him to dodge his Glacial Lance. And, and then, then we ha probably maybe win. Miss it. Miss it. Glacial Lance comes in here. God dang Calyrex. See, that's why Groudon needs to be fire type. He needs to be fire type. How is that not a stab move for him? But that's GG's. Calyrex comes in the back end. Takes us out with his big old Glacial Lance, but solid first battle. Solid first battle. In my opinion. First battle was a real close one. Your boy ended up losing in the end, so let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Going up against a Yavelta and Zassian team with Dragapult, Steam Engine Colossal, so Dragapult's going to be able to pair up with that, and then he also has the Rillaboom and the, the Regilecki, so team's looking real tough. Team is looking tough to play up against. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like uh, Rimstarl might have to be our lead here. Because we can swap items with anybody, so I really do like that. We're gonna go Grimstarl alongside with Groudon, and then we're gonna go Zekrom, and last but not least, I'm kind of liking Confi in the back end, maybe? Or even a Moongus. Moongus ain't too shabby here up against a few of these guys, so I am gonna go on Moongus. So, let's go on Moongus, lock it in, lock it down, and let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But I'm kind of hoping he's going to lead the uh, the Steam Engine Colossal, because I'm just gonna trick it. I'm just gonna straight up trick that Pokemon, take off its weakest policy, give it the Iron Ball. Probably, uh, no, we probably can't outspeed it, but still, be able to get some work done with it. Be able to get some work. So let's see, let's see who he goes into. Let's see who this dude's rocking out with. He's going to go into, bum, 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 the combo. Okay, cool. We got to trick it. We got to take off weakness policy. We have to get rid of that weakness policy. And then from here, ground moves probably our play, right? Four times super effective. Just get effort that way. He might be rocking a grass move, which could kind of stink. Could be rocking a grass move, which can do a lot of work on. I'm just going to Dynamax. I think I'm just gonna Dynamax, right? Trick. Dynamax. Max Quake. 100% my play. 
100%. We do have Scary Face Rocket, and we kind of just get after the battle this way. The Drought's out for him. I wonder what he's thinking of doing. I wonder what he's thinking of doing. He's got a Dyna. He's got a Dynamax going to the Surf, right? There's no, there's no other way he goes, right? So we're going to Dynamax. I'm guessing he's Dynamax, right? He's staying in, though. That's, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So the Iron Ball is going to be huge. Just swapping that thing and just taking some weakness policy. And giving him that Iron Ball. Because if we can waste out his Dynamax, that could be amazing. Because a Max Quake, I think, should be able to take out that thing. Right? Four times super effective. Get that thing out of my face. That's the only thing. Colossal's a beast. But he's so weak to ground and water. Which is so prominent. That's why it's so tough to get Steam Engine Colossal rolling. Because everybody, every time you see Steam Engine Colossal on team, usually the opponent's lead is going to be something to counteract. Like I'm doing right now. I'm trying to counteract it. Because I predicted him just going into it. Because it's, it's just like... It's kind of been an easy read of what he's going into. So he's going to Dynamax. He's looking to go into the Surf. Trick should come out here first. And give me that item, baby. Give me that weakness policy. You shall not have it. Take that Iron Ball, though. He goes for a Surf. He's going to trigger Steam Engine. And no weakness policy. And maybe Groudon can outspeed because it is an Iron Ball. We'll see. We'll see. That'll be lovely. We do not. We do not. And he goes for the Overgrowth trying to take me out. But since it's not Stab and I Dynamax, he sh this shouldn't even kill me. Yeah, see, I was going to say, I shouldn't even do half. That's lovely. He is going to set that terrain. I'm kind of cool with that. We just got to watch out for the Grassy Glides coming in. Uh, grassy Glides could definitely do me dirty. Grassy Glides could definitely do me dirty. We're going to drop a nice, lovely Max Quake. And can we take this thing out from here? All right, get it rid of this thing. Oh, yes, sir. Yo, Jeans is rolling. Jeans is on the board. It's a great turn for us. We can start Sucker Punching as well. Critical hit. We didn't even need it. Get that thing out of my face. Special Defense Boost on the board. Hopefully, he doesn't throw out Robin. We're hoping he's not rocking Robin right now. Because in that case, my Groudon can just keep thriving. If not, I'm going to have the Max Guard and kind of just start wasting out the turns. But I think I just start Sucker Punching, right? I want to start Sucker Punching, but I feel like this thing is just going to start setting up screens. Let's see. We still have our uh, Zekrom in the back. Good, which is great news. Chelsea, what is he going to do? Please do not bring out Anybody but Robin. That's what I'm hoping. Anybody but Robin. Okay. I'm with it all day. I'm going all day. I'm going to scare your face that thing and hit that thing hard. That's my play. That's my play, dude. No, way. Do we think he's going to protect? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. We're going to slow down. Slow him down there. Slow him down and... Are we going to Quake or Flare? I think Quake's a little bit better in this situation. Quake's a little bit better. Special defense boost is lovely. Scary face is pop. He allies... Yo. Yo, dude, this thing ally switches. Ally switches. What you mean? Now my Groudon is dead. Groudon is 100% dead. Behemoth Blade comes through. That is some tough news. That is some tough news, man. That is some tough news. Okay. I see you. I see how you're playing. That wants to play dirty. That wants to play dirty. That wants to play dirty. Do we read the ally switch again? <laughs> we read the ally switch again. Ah! I don't know what to do. We have weakness policy on two Pokemon. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I don't know. This sucks. This sucks. We gotta go Zekrom. Can't have two support mods out there. They they'll do nothing. They will do nothing. They will do nothing. The thing is, do we read an ally switch? We have, we have to read an ally switch. I don't think I, th I don't think he's gonna go. I don't think he's gonna double down ally switch. No way, right? There's no way he doubles down ally switch. There's no way he doubles down ally switch. You you do not have the moxie to double down switch. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. That's what I thought. Get out my face. Get out my face. But he might be rocking Draco Meteor on that 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 Dragon Bolt. Dragon Darts. Can we eat that? One. It's gonna go one each way, or we'll double down. But yo, policy's proc. Huge. That's huge policy proc. That's huge policy proc. Huge policy proc. Huge policy proc. Because now we outspeed Zassian. Jeez, this battle's going to come out the wire. Earth power thriving out here. Take this thing out all day. Get him out of here. Oh my god, yo. What a battle. What a battle so far. Who's this final mon going to be? Who's his final mon going to be? Anybody but Rollaboom. That's what I'm really hoping for. Anybody but Rollaboom. Who's he gonna throw out? Who is it? Reggie? Yavelta. Okay, so Yavelta comes in hot. Uh 
I think I have the sucker punch onto that uh that dragon pole here. Or maybe just protect. Right? Dragon Dodge has has got to come in hot here. And then we'll protect. And then I can potentially oh we can't we can't scare your face when he's dark type. No pranks are allowed. No pranks are allowed, but first turn priority is thriving here. Hopefully he's going for another dragon dodge. We're gonna protect him. How do you get for battle this way? Dragon Punch comes through here, and he was going for another dragon dodge. How much damage? Take him out. Oh, this thing sashed. Oh, three. Yo, what a battle. Yo, I want to win this one so bad. I want to win this so bad. Dragon Dart's going to double down in here. That's beautiful. And he's going to go for a taunt. So he taunts me. Um, I'm kind of cool with that. I'm kind of cool with that. What do you think he's going to do? We have the Sucker Punch there anyway. We're going to Sucker Punch and we got to go for Rise of Voltage, right? Battle's coming out to the fire. He goes for another move. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. He goes for another move. Good, good, good. So Sucker Punch KOs. This thing goes next. Oblivion Wing. Go into Grimstar, please. Go into Grimstar, please. He does, yo. That's probably GG's. That's GG's. We won. We did it. <laughs> we did it, baby. We're weakness policy proc. Great protects from us. Great sucker punches. Great scary faces. And great read on us for uh Reading him not doubling down to Alex, which we knew he didn't have the moxie to do it. And there it is, yo. Our first win for today's video. We're one on one. Let's hop into our third. Look for that winning record. There it is, guys. Our win with the team. That's exactly what I wanted was at least one win. We got it for you guys, but now we're in this situation where we can grab ourselves two win with this squad. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for a winning record going up against a Solgaleo and Kyogre team with Tornadus, Thunderous, Sableye. I should say Prankster, Sableye with Fake Out, all that good stuff. Alex Switch, and then Real Boom. Real Boom's just too good. Real Boom is so good. I was so scared of it in that last battle, too. But we're here in this one. Looking to rock out up against these guys. Uh, Who should I go into? Here? I'm kind of liking maybe just like Grimmsnarl. Into out on Kabuka. But the Tailwind. The Tailwind's real ugly. The Tailwind's ugly here. I like a you and you. I could. I could indeed do that. Scary Face also nice. Go Tailwind for Tailwind. Uh, this is tough. This is real tough. I think I'm going to go Confi Zekrom here. I think Confi Zekrom could be good. Just in case he wants to lead to Sableye or Fake Out, usually like him or Lil Boom. You can really thrive out from there. So Zekrom and Confi is going to be the lead here. Not going to lie, Solgaleo does scare me. A lot of his Pokemon does scare me. Uh, and then final Pokemon. What do I want? I do like Grimstorm. Grimstorm was really, really good. Scary face and all that good stuff. I do dig it. So you know what? I'm going to lock him in. I'm going to lock him down. I just love Grimstorm. Grimstar was money in that last battle. He was the main reason we won. He had the Iron Ball switch onto that, uh, what is that thing called? The Colossal. He had the Scary Face on the Disassian. Just two big prominent Pokemon that we took out. And then he also had the big old Sucker Punches onto the, uh, Dragapult. So, Grimstar was MVP. MVP all day. And then he, taunt, he taunted me. And I was just like, nah, yo, Sucker Punch coming through. And dude, something on my eye? Can't get it off. I think it was hair. I don't know. But we got it all. <laughs> He's gonna go Roll Boom into, uh, Solgaleo. And I think he Dynamaxes Solgaleo, right? I think he Dynamax is Solgaleo. What's my player? What is the Jeans play? That's tough news. This is tough news. Do I just get rid of the Roll Boom? I feel like Roll Boom just poses too big. Could pop a Trick Room, but we're going to go Draining Kiss here to go before his Fake Out because we know he's rocking Fake Out. I'm going to Dynamax and I really want to go for a Quake. But at the same time, it's like, dude, I can just get rid of you. I'm just going to get rid of him. I'm going to try to waste out Dynamax turns. I do not want to pocket this thing's policy. That's my only problem. I do not want to proxy team's policy to get a roll. I feel like we can waste out turns just by floral healing and constantly going after the side Pokemon. So that's exactly what I'm going to do from here. But yo, look at Comfy, dude. Comfy's little face cracks me up. Just a little necklace lay. Chilling there with a little face. <laughs> so Galileo does outspeed us. He's probably rocking Quake, but it will not do that much damage considering, uh, what was it? In battle number one, the Lando couldn't take us out. So that thing's not stabbed. We should be thriving here. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay. Like I said, dude, just cannot proc that policy. The policy's the scariest part. And we're hoping Robum's going for fake out because floral healing will come out before fake out due to the trial's ability. And then we'll get out, or not floral healing, our uh, draining kiss will come out. So we'll proc our policy. We'll waste his turn by going for a fake out. And we'll just roll off from there. So let's get it. And I believe, isn't isn't my boy physical attacking? So Gelio is probably physical attacking. So Wormwinds can do some big old work here. We'll do some big old work. 
Fake, wait, yo, fake out comes out first? He's that much faster than me? That kind of does me dirty. He is, he is orb. We flinch. And what's he going to go for here? He's going for a steel spike. No way. No way. That's tough news. That's real tough. No way. That just ruined my whole plan. I was not expecting that roll boom to be that fast. That fast. Way. No way. No way. No way. Confi, you disappointed me. Very disappointing. Luckily, the defense boost doesn't do anything. We're special attacking, and we dump on him anyway. That's a beautiful turn. It's a beautiful turn. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. Now I can bring out Grimstone next to him. Definitely bring out Grimstone. Could trick him. I could trick this dude. I could trick this dude for sure. I think I am gonna. I don't think I'm gonna touch him. I think I'm just gonna like leave him on the side. Keep rolling from there. I'm gonna take his policy. We're gonna trick on that thing. And I think I just keep going here. Oh, he has full metal armor. So attack shops doesn't do anything. Could quake, but I don't I do not want to quake just yet. Do not want to quake just yet. So we're gonna go here. I think we're just gonna warm win. I think we're just gonna keep targeting down this right side. We still have a Groudon in the back end, which is wonderful. Tricks can come out here and say, hey yo, take this iron ball. You are now slow. You are now slow. And what was he holding? The weakest policy, like I said. A great call by us. He's just gonna go straight for a brick break. That's fine. It's easy eats. Easy eats. Dang, you have that full metal armor. Keeping him alive. Can it stump on him? Dude. We're not even policy proc. This thing is steamrolling Pokemon. God dang, Zekrom. God dang, Zekrom. Zekrom. Steel Spike comes through here. That's fine. He can have all the defense boosts he wants. You guys know why? Because both my Pokemon are special attack. It's awesome. It's awesome. So he's basically like sitting here. Thinking he's doing some good work by defense boosting, but my only attackers on team are special attacking. So intimidate doesn't really affect us, and these uh, steel spikes. Don't. Max quakes definitely do us dirty. Max quakes definitely do us dirty. So we're gonna roll out to here. He does bring out Kai. Ooh, ooh. This might have to be a protect into a max lightning turn. This, yeah, this is definitely protecting the max lightning turn. So he's gonna bring out them too. Because if I can get rid of, uh, if I can get rid of Kai over here, we can be thriving. Oh, dude, he takes away my drought. He takes away my drought. We have the protector. We have the protector around. Right and then rock out with a max lightning. I should have maybe protected, predicted the protect onto him. Because if he does protect, we have a high chance of losing this battle. It's coming down to this move. It comes down to whether it's Kyogre protects or not, I think. Because if he protects, he eats up. And then he can take out my Groudon. But Zekrom might be able to win the 1v1. It's going to be close. It's going to be cutting. It's so close. He is Iron Balled. And... Ah! hate this game. Hate it. I hate this game. At least we're going to get off some damage onto it. That's lovely. We are going to protect you. And hopefully, just maybe, just maybe Solgaleo can come after me here. Come after my Groudon. So we get off on the Max Lightning there. Tough news. Tough, tough news. Wow. What do I do? What do I do? Do I go for the Double Protect? I think I have to, right? I think I have to. Quake comes through here and Quake's doing me dirty. But he procs policy, which is really important for us. Really, really important for us. How do I play this one? How do I play this one? I'm, try I'm trying to just, like, think of ways I can do this. Because we know, like... Actually, is the Kyogre faster than us? That's the real question. Kyogre might not be faster than us. Well, dude, that's kind of close. I think we have to get after him. I think I think we have to go for the Thunderbolt and try to get off as much damage as we can. We are life orbed. I think I have to double down into him, right? There's no like he's not gonna go for double protect, but I'm doubling down into him. We do go out first. Yo, take him out, take him out, take him out. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Paralyze, paralyze. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something! No! Water. Oh, we water spout. Yo, that's huge. We'll take that. We'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, this one's coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire here. Water spout's still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Why does Voltage come through here? The good thing we did outspeed. Hopefully, yo, if he takes out Groudon, we, we have a high chance of winning this game. He goes after Groudon here. Let's see. EQ. Oh, no. We have one shot at this. We have one shot at this. 
key special defense boost though. We're gonna lose to life orb damage here. We're gonna lose. We need a crit. We need a crit. We need a crit. We need we need a crit. <laughs> we need something. Take him out. Take him out, you dump on him. Get him out of my face. Get him. Oh no! Oh my lord. What a battle. What a battle there, yo. One and two for today's video, but all around great battles. All I have to say is wow. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe those two battles that we lost. Came down to the wire. This has probably been my best video with a losing record. Both those battles were phenomenal. The ones that were lost, I'm talking about. And then the second battle, we won that battle. That was great all around. But dude, that last battle, this close. Game of inches. Game of inches. Some matches are like that, and those are the best ones to play. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the content. If you did, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that bigger subscribe button and join the community. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.